Good afternoon. My name is Cyrus Hojati, C-Y-R-U-S-H-O-J-J-A-T-Y. I'm enjoying the snow out here in Las Vegas. All I see this as a way to perpetuate a dysfunctional system and every single measure we've done in the last several sessions, we've raised many different taxes and imposed a new one. We are finding out that the problem has not been solved or has hardly made any progress. This is nothing more the way I see it as an incentive to perpetuate the status quo. Now, I'd like to know why is it that other parts of the country or even the world have different typical teacher and student ratio? I'd like for us to explain that because maybe we can see what's going on with our population. And I know some of you don't want to talk about this. Now, the question is, why is it that we have a teacher shortage? What could that be? Could it be because of the pay? Could it be because we pushed mandatory vaccines on teachers? And by the way, I still want to know whether these lockdowns and passports and jab mandates and everything, have they really worked? Because it's been two and a half years or so. Okay, let's Could stick to the bill, okay? Well, it does affect it. And, and uh, by the way, could it be because of the violence that's been going on? What is causing the teacher shortage? Now, I'll give you my experience. I was raised and I went to a high school, one of the highest ranking schools in South Orange County, California. And just one kid could really take down the entire classroom. They can ask questions in terms of how they are. And this is why increasing two or three students could drastically impact the entire classroom, all right? A 2% change, it can make a huge difference. So I urge you all to please vote no on this bill. And by the way, you kind of did prove my point even further. Thank you so much. Hi, uh, my name is Serena. I am uh, Serena Cardenas. My uh, daughter is a high school student here in uh, CCSD. And uh, I was doing my own research and I found uh, that these studies, studies had found that smaller tasks correlate with better test scores. Uh, there was an, uh, they launched a STAR a project in which uh, they did uh, 79 schools were tested. And after four years, the students who had been placed in smaller classes were between two and five months ahead of their peers in larger classes, according to this report. So it is uh, mind boggling to me that our legislators would still consider any action that would further impact uh, the learning of our students with the, the outcomes that we have. Uh, our students are hurting and it is a national crisis that Clark County has been making uh, headlines and records for, for their scores. So any action that would further hurt their learning is uh, not to be taken. I strongly oppose AB 42. Thank you.